Start to master the guitar snack with the super simple John Mayer solo. Hey guys, welcome to my channel, I'm Vinny Rossini. In this video, I'll show you how you can use the whole guitar neck with a simple logic and a simple theory on John's solo on the, on the song Wait on the Word to Change. This is the solo. This one string and the, the slides, <laughs> that's it. So let's start the lesson. So the solo is on the key of D. This is the base of it. Theorize John's using the, the pentatonics, which is this like to explain, probably most of you guys already know, but the pentatonics are a scale of five notes, which would be this. The notes itself would be like this. So we can call it one, two, three, five, six. When John does like things like this, he's using the, the pentatonics, but on a, on a super bluesy style. So John's using this theory, but he's using horizontally through the neck, like this. So the solo is this. The numbers they're gonna they're gonna say now means the penta, the pentatonics note, okay? So the first one is D. So we go like this. One, two, three, you do the hammer on, slide, then two, three, five, three, five, six, five, six, one again, six, one, two, bending, and then third to the fourth, you do this bending. step bending and now a little more detail and using the frets so now I'm talking about the frets the numbers are the frets so three five seven five seven ten seven ten twelve ten twelve fifteen twelve fifteen seventeen bending back to the fifteen now we go to nineteen fifteen again So the solo is this, and the cool thing about the solo is that it's simple to transpose it or to play it on different regions. To transpose would be to change the key, so it's on the key of D, like I can put it the song on the key of G, A, E, F sharp, any, any key. And to play on another region would be something like this, like we are here, and I, uh, and I could do this, or this. So the same notes, right? The same solo, but I'm playing on different on a different part of the neck, like here. You know what I mean? How do you do that? It's super simple. You need to know where the root key is. So you need to know where the D is. So the D is here. So if we know where the D is, we can do the same sliding, same slide logic, like this. So another D here on the seventh fret G string. So now here on the, the open D, the, G, the D string here. It's the same slide. Like the slides would be the, the same same pentatonic numbers and the same fret numbers. So with the simple logic, you can get through the whole guitar neck and you can finally start to memorize the, the notes, you know, on the neck. You can use this in other songs, on other solos. Like let's use John's Bravery, for example. Like let's use the same slide logic. If we go up the neck, we can get back, we can get back as well, right? So, 
just get back. this is it i uh, hope it was actually was actually useful to you and that you actually uh, understand what i what i was trying to say uh, thank you for watching all the way through here i hope it was an actual lesson to you know that it was help helpful so subscribe and hit the like button so you keep receiving my videos in other videos like this like youtube will recommend to you other videos about guitar about john about about blues guitar if you actually interact with it. not only my videos but other videos about guitar about anything that you like youtube will actually keep recommending to you more of those things right subscribe so you don't miss the new videos and thank you guys god bless you and you have a great night great day full of joy full of peace full of of love and a lot of music that i'm sure that you love as well so thanks guys see you soon